Sometimes in code, you'll find yourself having a list of arrays or a basically a list of lists and an array of arrays. So let's start with the top example here. We have an array of, you know, think of a bunch of people bringing a bunch of their fruits together and we're gonna have a, a party and everyone's gonna bring all their fruits and we're gonna combine all of our fruits together and I need to see which fruits all of us have and we're building an application for this. So uh, mine, I have apples and grapes, theirs, they have uh, oranges, pears and, and strawberries and there's the other people who are bringing a kiwi and a watermelon. So I need to see exactly what I have and so I am going to combine all of those together all these arrays because maybe they've come into my application at different periods of time. Uh, and so I have these three different arrays and now I have an array of arrays. So basically I've created a list of arrays, excuse me, a list of lists. So I have a list of mine, a list of theirs and a list of. And now if I were to print this, it would show an array, excuse me, a list with three items in it. And this one, the first item would have two items in that list, the second one have three items in that list, and the last one would have two items in that list. Now there's actually a method called flatten, and what this will do is it'll take all these values and flatten them out and basically put them into one list. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out so you can, so we can run this. Uh, and you'll see here that down we have, when we print this, these brackets indicate a list. So this is one of the lists. This is the next list right here. And this is the last list here with the kiwi and the watermelon. And of course, they're in, the whole thing is inside of one set of brackets here, which represents that the whole thing is inside of a list itself. So it's a list of lists, kind of a mouthful. Now, when I call the flatten method, what it does is it just takes all those values and flattens it into one list itself. So I'm able to combine all of these lists if they're inside of one master list and flatten them out. Now you can do the same exact thing with arrays. It's the exact same thing. We'll have an array of arrays here. And so we have an array of the same exact things. Instead of using lists, I'm just using arrays. And I'm gonna call the same exact method on it. And so I'm calling flatten. And both of these actually do the exact same thing. This one is gonna be iterating on a list. And this one is going to be iterating on an array. So you can see they are different, there's a different code. So see line 19 inside the arrays file. And then we have line 69 of the iterables file. So they are, it is different code, but it does the exact same thing in our use case here. And so we're going to take arrays and if we run these here, what we'll see is the top two lines will be for our lists. So we have the list up here. And the next one, this is the array of arrays and it's printing out the, hey, the, there's a bunch of strings in there and then it kind of stopped printing. And then it flattens them out into one large array. So that's how you can go ahead and flatten an array of an arrays or lists of lists inside of Kotlin.